What's up, y'all? Toast and Teddy once again. Welcome back to Zombie Defense. Um, this will be part two of the tutorial. If you didn't see the first part, um, it's back on my uh, channel, part of a playlist for this game. Um, this is just a little bit more info about the game and uh, stuff I didn't mention last time. There will be a part three that uh, I'll go through, like the finer stuff about the game. But uh, anyway, if you saw the first one and liked it, then uh, stay tuned for more and... Here we go. What's up, y'all? Toast and Teddy once again. Welcome back to Zombie Defense. Uh, I figured I might as well continue from here. Um, had another thing to add to the tutorial that I forgot. But, um, here, hold on. If you get to a certain spot in the thing, like it says to get to level 10 or level 20 or whatever, like you start the game and it's like, zero or one out of 20 you get to that 20 right and you either select finish mission or continue and it'll go by five intervals up from that every time you hit continue so the first mission i just did in the tutorial was one out of five got all the way to five and i hit continue so now i'm on um six out of ten on the same mission and every time you get to the um, the goal it is a stopping point and like it's like oh you made it here you can exit out and you're uh, good to go right but you know Ooh, can buy another drone I got two drones floating around. But, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the uh, tutorial, anyway, and what I meant to add. But, um, yeah, I might as well keep going. Like I said in the tutorial, or in the first episode, the uh, times up there on the top right is just the game speed and how fast it goes. And right now it's at 1, so it's, you're going to see all the gun flashes you should see. If you go to time 2, you you see like 90% of them. But if you're at time 5, you almost don't see any of them, except for the drones. You know what I mean? Like the drones just take over everything. Right here, it's in final round again. And I can do another drone as well. And I turned it down speed-wise so I could do this easy, or you could just completely pause it. And upgrade each one of these guys once. Actually, I forgot these are different guys. Mercenaries, and what is this? Sheriff, okay. I can match him out for sure. And I got 600. I'm going to continue a little bit. But yeah, that's also another thing here. The supply drop, right? You can just take one of your people, double-click the supply drop spot, your guns, grabs it, picks it up, and make him go back, double step again. And now on the far right, notice how we picked up those extra explosives and Molotovs and stuff. Um, that was the drop. And those come down to only three spaces. So, like, if all my spaces are full of people or units, then it won't drop any of those. But you can still call them in the bottom left there, the $200, uh, $200 thing. You know, that, um, okay, final wave finished, 250. I'm going to go to end mission or keep playing. Keep playing. Now it's, it should be 11 of 15. Yep. I'm going to go, wait, buy my third. Oh, I forgot I bought my third uh, drone already. Well, that's good. I'll probably take out most everyone, most everyone in here. I think my guys in the middle won't even get a chance to shoot me then. <laughs> yeah, we're just taking things out. Two more levels. Once I get to 15, I'll slow it down again. 
show you something else that I didn't have used, but I didn't really slow down enough to show you. Final wave already. Okay. I told you about the supply drop you can buy. There's an airstrike you can buy as well, which I did use in the uh, first episode. Watch. I'll do it again. See how it's red around those? That means I can't drop it anywhere cl too close to my people. But if you just tap on the area of the screen, and I'll drop the second one just because those big dudes are pretty hard to kill. So there's two airdrops dropping on that guy, and he'll definitely be dead before he hits my people. And zoom over here. Okay. Two airdrops. Go up to normal speed. And, um, yeah. Like as you can see over here, this is the reinforced spots. You go up. You have two more levels. And now it's red. That's the max. Okay, let me pause this quick. Oh, well, let me slow it down. Yeah. Um, and then that hexagon one there is a uh, reinforce the spot. So it's just extra protection, like a shield kind of, I guess. But yeah, anyway, um, there's more to see. So uh, I guess um, you know, I'll go ahead and finish this and just finish it. But then next episode, I'll uh, do the second mission or the second level, if you will. But yeah, you could tap that and close those and see everything. That's another thing I forgot to mention. But sure you notice what I was doing that anyway. <sighs> anyway, yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed. Go ahead and end mission. I get. And I'll, uh, anyway, see you in the next one. Thank you for watching part two of my tutorial for zombie defense. Um, I hope it was informative. Um, if you've played the game, leave a comment on uh, your strategies and what units you like to use best. Um, if you are thinking about playing the game, uh, I would definitely give it a shot. It's free and uh, it's fun to play. If you like the video, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't and uh, leave your comments. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next one. This is Toasted Ted and I'm out.